Yo, 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 what's up? Real quick, let me just break down this video. Sorry, I haven't been active on YouTube, but it's super cold in New York, and um, I don't have space to work on the bike. I don't have a space for heat, so, you know, kind of just threw them in the garage. So, sorry for people that, that have been asking me questions and, you know, waiting for bills and stuff, but it is cold. And I Maniac know. Beats. But it was like 50 degrees the other day, so I took the bike out, uh, installed the head, you're gonna see whatever, how the bike runs. And then I had a, like a random surprise visitor, ended up being really cool, so check it out. Check it out. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick um, update. I fitted the IT-175 head onto the DT um, all I had to do pretty much was grind a bunch of metal from here so that there would be clearance because if not it was gonna touch the, uh, the expansion chamber but I just rolled the bike it runs now I gotta send the head out to Ken O'Connor to get modified and we'll see what this baby could do afterwards What's up, buddy? So we got Josue over here. This is a nice surprise. Uh, somebody who lives in my neighborhood, and he actually has this DT125. Uh, got it imported from Colombia. This thing is clean. The gang, what year is it? Oh, it's a 2000 125 with the um, the front suspension is very similar to mine. If you guys didn't know. The cylinder is a lot different. This only comes with the four bolt head. And then the uh, reed on this is a lot bigger. I think it's the size of a blaster. So much, much different uh, cylinder. But yeah, looking clean. All right, so just a few comments. All right, number one. The DT is way slower with the IT head. Um, obviously, it is a head from a different bike. It was on a different cylinder. Um, same size piston, different stroke, different compression ratio. So definitely, definitely, definitely don't expect to slap a 79 IT head onto the DT and it's gonna have more power. Even when I when I um, kick over the uh, kickstart, it's just like, really loose like there's, it feels like it has no compression and that wasn't the case with the other uh, head that I had so 100% has to get sent out to get machined then the bike has to be retuned so keep that in mind two holy shit I was super impressed with that DT125 uh, it, that bike definitely has more airflow on that engine it just kept on going and going and going and revs higher and that thing is stock AF and I really hope he modifies it because after he modifies it I want to ride it again three that engine is very similar to the RT 180 um, I kind of also really want to ride an RT 180 now and if that engine is dope then I want to do a swap Four. I'm just gonna send post a little picture at the end of this so you guys can see what else I'm working on um, you guys are gonna know exactly what it is as soon as you see the pic so I got more content on that coming soon and five for anybody who knows me and anybody who's interested in drifting the drift car is coming back this year 100% it's in the body shop right now so get ready for some drift car content 
Alright guys, gotta go. Peace.